probably the last night I can set on my stand. It's, uh, it's the 7th of June. I've got till next week. Uh, there's been good bears hitting it every single day since last week. My son set on it um, about a week ago and uh, had a smaller one come in. He didn't want to take it, so we got several big ones hitting. But uh, let's hope tonight's a night. Um, got the muzzle loader tonight. Um, want to make sure that I can uh, get him out there over, you know, 60, 70 yards. I'm not too worried about it. So uh, anyway, uh, check it out. Here we are about 9.30 of uh, Sunday morning the 8th. Last night, about 9.30, this uh, female came in. I was thinking it was a boar, but it's a female. And uh, she's not a bad female. She's not huge, but she's a mean one. She's got scars all over her nose. Uh, teeth are all broke off. Um, she came in right to the barrel at 13 yards. And uh, I had put in a taken a rock and squirted a bunch of that jelly donut stuff on it thinking maybe if one came from either direction they would stop to smell it and it's exactly what she did she came off this hill behind us two of them went across uh, about eight o'clock and then about 9 30 they came back where well, one came back and uh came down and stopped on the hillside about 80 yards and i was thinking about taking a shot and i thought man i really don't feel comfortable because it was pretty dark so, and then he, she started walking, and I knew she was coming to the barrel at that time, so I turned the camera and got it right on the barrel, and she walked right in, and it was like five seconds, she poked her head out, and I got a front, front end shot, put it behind the front shoulder and let her have it, but it was so dark last night, I didn't want to take chances of uh, 
going into the jack pines with a wounded bear because not knowing where the shot was. Those muzzle loaders put out so much smoke you can't even tell by watching the replay where he even hit or anything. So, but anyway, uh, here we are again. Another uh, successful hunt with Sagebuck Productions. Um, I'd like to thank uh, my, my son, Jared, and his friends, John, for helping us pack bait in and keeping this thing going. My youngest boy, too, he had just put bait on it Friday and it was almost gone already. So pretty, pretty crazy once they start coming. So anyway, uh, we'll catch you later.